Hello friends, this video on thermal properties of matter part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to part 9 before going ahead with part 10. Now let us look at yet another topic that is thermal stress. What is thermal stress? Now let us understand what is thermal stress. As the name suggests here again, thermal means something related to heat. Stress. Stress is something which we have discussed earlier in our previous chapters. What is stress? Stress is nothing but force per unit area. So how do you think is, is stress going to be related to heat? We'll see this now. Thermal stress is the mechanical stress induced in a body when some or all of its parts are not free to expand or contract in response to changes in temperature. It's a very simple English in which it has been defined. Just now we were talking about thermal expansion, right? We said that if temperature increases, objects expand. If temperature decreases, objects contract. Now let us suppose if the temperature is increasing but the object is restricted in such a way that it cannot expand. Even though the object is trying to expand due to the increase in temperature but there are certain physical constraints because of which it is not able to expand. So under that scenario a mechanical stress will get induced in the body. That stress is known as thermal stress. Let us suppose to understand it more clearly, let us suppose you have two support or you, let us consider these two are two strong poles. There is a rod which is fixed at both the ends to with this to this rigid support. Now let us suppose if we heat this rod, the rod experiences expansion. There is thermal expansion in the rod. But the rod is unable to extend because both its ends are fixed. So it cannot increase in length. So in that situation, a stress will develop or induce within the rod which is known as the thermal stress. So in this case, the rod acquires compressive strain due to the external forces provided by the rigid support at the ends. As a result, the corresponding stress set up in the rod, which is known as the thermal stress. Now let us suppose the length of this rod is L. Cross-sectional area of the rod is A. So length of the rod is L, cross-sectional area is A. And let us suppose it is heated or it is the temperature increases delta T. It is provided some heat such that that increase in temperature is delta T. Now, as per definition, coefficient of linear expansion will be equal to delta L by L, this whole divided by delta T. Right? Therefore, the compressive strain that will develop in the rod will be, what is the compressive strain developed in the rod? Strain is nothing but the change in length divided by the original length, that is delta L by T. So what is delta L by T? If you look at this equation, we can say that alpha L into delta T is equal to delta L by L. So here, instead of delta L by L, we can write it as alpha L into delta T. So this is the compressive strain. Now, if this is the compressive strain, then what would be the thermal stress? Thermal stress would be the strain corresponding to, stress corresponding to this compressive strain. That means this will be equal to the Young's modulus into compressive strain, correct? Right? So this we can write it as y into alpha L delta T. Now since this thermal stress is produced due to the external force, it is, why is this produced? Because of the external force which is given by these two rigid supports. These two rigid supports are giving some external force on this rod because of which it is restricted at both the ends. So we can say that this thermal stress arises because of some external force, let us say delta F. So we can write this thermal stress as force per unit area, that is delta F 
divided by a is equal to y into alpha n delta t. So we can say this external force will be equal to a y alpha n delta t. So when we apply an external force which is equal to this value, in that case a thermal stress is developed within the body. So I hope you understood what is thermal stress. It is the stress which is developed in a body when some or all parts of the body are not free to expand or contract in response to changes in temperature. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.